Hello, this is Paul Ingracia. I'm live at the Detroit Auto Show for 2012. And our guest this morning is Carlos Ghosn. He's the chairman and CEO of two companies, both Nissan and Renault. Carlos, welcome to Detroit. Thank you. Let's uh, actually change the geographic venue here just for a minute and talk about Europe. When we last talked uh, at the Frankfurt Auto Show last fall, the European car market was holding up fairly well despite all the negative headlines about the Euro crisis. What's going on in Europe now and what's your outlook for the Euro crisis and its effect on sales in Europe in 2012? Well, it's very difficult to give you a very, you know, solid forecast okay. for Europe in 2012. But right. I would say that the most reasonable scenario that we are seeing is a drop in car sales in Europe for the year 2012 in the order of magnitude of 3%. About 3%? Yeah, 3%. Okay. You know, some markets are going to drop more, like France mm. uh, will drop probably uh, up to 6%. Mm. Other markets less. Why France will drop more? Because, you know, at the beginning of the year 2011, France was surprisingly strong. So we're starting right. with a very high base. Right. That's why these markets will see a little bit more effect in 2012. We are not foreseeing an Armageddon scenario in Europe in okay. 2012. We think that some solution to the problem existing will be found, even though that will last a little bit to be executed and to be put to action. That's why we're seeing more a mediocre scenario, a kind of a, a recession of the order of magnitude of 3%. three uh, percent. That's the most likely scenario. So you, you do not see a collapse of the euro not then, at not at all? all. Not okay. at all. We, okay. we think there are enough solutions and there is enough goodwill and there is enough experience in Europe to avoid that. Now let's switch over to Asia just for a minute too. China's slowing down a little bit, but you sell more than a million vehicles a year in China. Uh, what, what are your concerns? What's your outlook there for the 2012 sales picture? Yeah, you know, when, when we look at China, yes, the uh, total uh, number of vehicles sold in China, you see a slowdown. But in right. fact, if you look uh, segment by segment, right. like a uh, commercial vehicle, light commercial vehicle, passenger car sales, the passenger car sale is still extremely vibrant. I mean, right. the growth there is around 7 to 8%, mm. and we think this will going to continue in 2012. Uh, on the contrary, in light commercial vehicle and commercial vehicle, we've seen a, a, a slowdown and a decline. And we think this trend will continue in 2012. I'm not very worried about, about this trend, because right. we compete mainly in the passenger car uh, segment, ah, and we think it's going to be a, a year of growth in 2012. So here's the irony. Here we are in Detroit, 2012. Uh, three years ago in the 2009 show, Two of the companies, Chrysler and General Motors, were nearing bankruptcy. Now the U.S. market is sort of thought of as a stable, growing market, uh, sort of a underpinning the global auto industry, really, for this year. What, what's your outlook for this market? No, I, I think it was expected. I, I never thought that the market would be down and never recover. I think right. what we're seeing here is a gradual and healthy recovery of the U.S. market. Let's not forget that. You know, our forecast for the year 2012 is around 13.8 million cars, okay. uh, slightly shy of the 14 million. Um, you know, we have sold more than 17 million cars in the United States, right. so we are still right. into a recovery. This right. recovery is very healthy, and I think it's solid. Now, you haven't had a chance to walk around the show yet, but when you do, what are you going to look at here in Detroit? Well, mainly what are the major product launch okay. for the U.S. in 2012, okay. and what are the major technological innovation that competitors are putting. You know, this is a big party where, you know, we, we all know each other, we go visit each other, right. you know, new babies and new <laughs> products and new technologies, we exchange about them. And, you know, I'm not going to be an exception. I'm going to do this and I'll do it with pleasure. Is there anything special you're looking for? Any model that you're going to sort of focus on, perhaps? Well, uh, you know, we're going to be launching our Altima, uh, right. new Altima this year in right. 2012. This is an important car for us. This is our number one right. uh, seller. So obviously, I'm going to look at all the products, competitive products being to launched. The, to the Altima. Exactly. Now, there's only two people in the world that run two car companies, you and Sergio Marchione, who has Chrysler and Fiat. Compare your styles a little bit and how different they are, how alike they are. It's sort of a different corporate structure, but it's a unique arrangement for both of you. Yeah, well, you know, I think we're different. You can see it. Uh, <laughs> okay. And uh, we have different history and we have different background and we have experience. But I think we all in, we have something at least in common that we, we enjoy this industry and we enjoy the product. Great. This is Paul Ingracia. I'm here in Detroit with Carlos Ghosn, live from the Detroit Auto Show.